So, yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can add to that. I'm just going to describe what I'm wearing, show you different ways in which I wear it. And, yeah, I'm wearing a designer piece. Yes, I do have an expensive designer wardrobe that is probably nearer the million pound mark. Because that's what I call anything that I um, have worn, I call it anything that I have designed, patterned, drafted and sewn, I call it the, Colle the CGL collection. You know what, I'll start again. Hello, how are you? <laughs> is the weather i'm blaming the weather it's terrible it really is i've only just got home so i'll start again my name is colleen g lee and if you are interested in refashioning clothing whether it's old or new or you're interested in seeing what i have designed pattern drafted and also sewn then this is the channel for you you are well um you may have realized that i haven't done an outfit of the week i decided to do this video for two reasons really the first reason is that recently I've been getting e DMs, people personally, that are um, sending me messages of asking me to tell them how I can show them how to pattern cut a certain garment and, you know, perhaps a certain construction detail. And I personally, I don't think people, a lot of people realise that out there that it is actually illegal to copy someone else's design it is i'm a fashion designer and also a teacher now i've experienced people copying my designs it's not good it's not nice please do not ask me to do that i'm just kind of like taken back by it so i want to do videos like this where i am showing you as a person who is very creative I'm a fashion designer and also a teacher, but I'm also a person who's willing to share my skill sets with whoever wants to know about fashion design, pattern drafting and garment construction. So this is going to be the first of many videos that I want to show people what I create for myself as a fashion designer. It is a high-end piece of um, garment. I have designed the top, the back, the pants, even the mask. It was like, I need to do a different video. It's it's because it's bothering me a little bit that I'm getting people DMing me, wanting me to copy designs or tell them how it is done. And it's like, really? You send them an image of an eye hemmed garment and you want me to show you how you can create the same look for yourself. Well, guess what? This is a high-end garment, as you saw on the thumbnail. Created it myself as a fashion designer, self-taught, helped with my mum, and I created the top, the bag, the pants, and the mask. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can add to that. I'm just going to describe what I'm wearing, show you different ways in which I wear it, and yeah, I'm wearing a designer piece. Yes, I do have an expensive designer wardrobe that is probably nearer the million pound mark. And I made it myself. I patterned it myself. I designed it myself. Just because you don't hear my name within the international fashion industry does not mean my skill level is any less. Let's get into the video. So what I'm wearing is something that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn and I refer to that as the CGL collection which are the initials of my name. So yes, so um, the full nail was a very interesting one but I would like to say it's a very accurate one as well. So I've had this discussion before where people have given me negative comments about how I would price what I have design pattern drafted and also sewn and I'm a fashion designer I love fashion always have done I'm also a passionate person when it comes to teaching I want to pass on my skills so what you are seeing on me now yes it is a one-off and yes it is the price that it is just need to put that out there the two reasons really, you find a lot of people with um, the same skill sets that I have who I personally think 
do underestimate their pricing and especially now more than any time that we need to be pricing our garments our creative talents at a much higher price point and that will help and maybe only tiny but that will help in some way of the sustainability problems that we're having in fashion so i just want to share with you what i've worn today i mean do excuse me because i have been out to a business meeting a business event and it started really early this morning and it was really dark so i couldn't do this video until i came home so and it was really dark and raining <laughs> my hair you see my hair yes i've seen better days so what i'm wearing is something that i created i think it's about three or four years ago but there is one addition to what i am wearing and um, that i made last night actually <laughs> And um, it is this mask. So I'll put it on for you so you can have a look. There we go. So you've got the total look. So that is how I presented myself at the business event. Yes, I was. So it, this is a top, it's oversized, it has two two belts um, and you may see here that I've got a knot here and I've tried to create a square knot to represent squares that are in the design of the fabric and the sleeve, I love the sleeves. A lot of my garments are experimental because as a designer I want to see if my design idea will actually work so I do wear a lot of my what we refer to as um, kind of mock-ups um, for my mock-ups are in the fabric that I actually want the design to be in and once you meet a certain level of talent when it comes to um, pattern drafting and sewing you can get you can get away with it without no one really knowing that there is one or two possible issues that I would change in the pattern or in the construction and possibly even the design but I just love what I've done with these sleeves look when you move your arms <gasps> Oh yes, and then I follow through with that fan effect, so it's a split sleeve, and I follow with that fan effect that you see there into the back, right, so, so it's oversized, and one of the reasons why it is oversized is so that I can wear it different ways, like I said I've got a belt, I can also thread the belt through some loops, not loops, an opening at the side here, let me show you, there. It's not a hole, it's meant to be there, so I can actually thread the belt through. So the back is hanging out, and then I've just got the front, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. And then I just have some straight leg pants, and they have hip pockets, and a fly front, and just darts at the back. I haven't put any pockets at the back, just darts. There's a lot going on, and because um, back pockets in the back it would have been hidden anyway but I would wear the trousers um, without the top or this is gorgeous isn't it so how I would style this it's quite simple really because I want the attention to be on the garment I've got <laughs> a jewel a bracelet yes the squares are just falling through and this is how you create that monochromatic look. Just go full out. Totally, utterly full out in everything. And my bag. If I'm honest, I think this is this is what I'm most proud of is this bag. I've made quite a few bags in my lifetime. I've uh, been creative from school bags um, to, I'm making one on, I'm working at, on one at the moment as well. That's been taking me a long time to complete, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love this bag. It, I, I haven't used any hand making bag constructions. I've just used my own kind of fashion sewing techniques in order to create this. But if I could get this bag made, 
um, in faux leather. Um, or perhaps not even faux leather, in a more sturdier fabric. And, oh, I, I, it's, it's a pro set, but it's gorgeous. I just love it. I really do. It took me ages to make. And one of the reasons why I do make bags is that sometimes I get frustrated when I come to designing garments and I can't take a design of a garment too far that it becomes art, fashion art. It has to be wearable. So um, bags kind of keep me on that creative road still, I think. And um, hence I'm probably struggling with the one that I've got now, but this is so gorgeous. It really is. And this strap, it's taken quite, it's, it's quite, it's, it can hold quite a bit as well. So I created, I like to call it the in flap bag, the double handle in flap bag. <laughs> so the flap doesn't hang on the outside, like so. So the flap's on the inside and it's got fastening there. And the fastening that slips in there, like so, in clips. But it can hold my phone and also a tablet they're quite heavy and yeah I'm just so thrilled with it let me just show you the inside yeah really proud of this bag really am I should wear it I should really wear it with other other um garments I really should shouldn't I so, I just want to show you my footwear now. I do have, today, it has been raining. So, I ended up wearing these boots, which you've seen before, if you follow me on my outfits of the week, which are now going to be on Instagram, so you need to follow my Instagram account to see my daily outfits, because I'm going to do a lot more of this sort of thing, because I think, it's going to be a lot more helpful. So I'll just go through the description of the top. So I'm wearing a polar neck, and the polar neck has um, vertical stripes within it. It's quite an old one. And I picked up that colour from the stripes that is in the fabric. And we just turn it around. And I've got an asymmetrical neck happening with some folds here, which are gorgeous. We also have a zip there, so it enables me to pull it over my head. That's a way to, to get it on. And yes, is there anything else for me to say? Let me just show you my footwear. These are the shoes. So they're cut out. They're actually ankle boots. So I've even gone as far as my nail polish as well. That goes with my outfit, <laughs> the same colour tone and also on my toenails. But like I said, because of the weather, um, I had to wear my other boots. But let, let me just show you how I'll wear the other belt. So I could, I usually wear it like this, but also tie it into a bow, which gives it another, another look as well. We have that going on. Or do the belt. So this is my other belt. And that's what the bag is made of. This same fabric. And I would put it like this around me. Bring it to and just tie it like so. And I can also tie this into a bow as well. That would be fine. And let me just show you again with the other belt.
So what would happen is that our band centre of this belt that okay and it will thread through the opening a lot that I left here. I am the only one in the world with this outfit. That's amazing. That's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy to know that this is the only garment in the world that exists. And this colorway. With the bag. With a mask. It's crazy. Actually, I just... way to tie it. So what I then do is pull a lot of the gathers, the gathering effect to the front like so. Put that to the side just a little bit more and then you've got this happening. Oh it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then I don't want to carry my bag like so I can put it cross body it's quite oh have it on my shoulder I'll put it cross body Just there. Oh, that's crazy. That is just gorgeous. So gorgeous. Look at those sleeves. So, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then please leave a comment, give me a like, share, save this video, and anything else? No, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.